We've just done the three years. And I've gone from playing like this to playing like this. Oh, wow. Now, by no means am I saying that I'm a professional or even close to that, because trust me, people, I'm not. But I have gone from a total beginner to a nine handicap in that time. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I did to go from a total chopper to, well, let's face it, a pretty bang average golfer with totally achievable aspirations of shooting a 58 like Bryson within a year. So, where did I start? Well, other than the odd pitch and putt round when I was a kid, I pretty much had zero golf experience. Well, at least on a golf course anyway. But COVID came along, and although I thought it'd be boring, golf ranges were the only thing open, so I thought I'd give it a go. And I must have hit about a total of three shots before I decided I was totally obsessed. In the first six months, after finding an old set of Shrixons with absolutely zero forgiveness, pretty much the opposite of what I needed, in my parents' cellar, I played a nine-hole golf course an awful lot with absolutely no idea what I was doing. But really, I was just becoming accustomed to the game and the rules. That, along with a driving session, maybe once or twice a week, really got me going. And when I say got me going, I literally mean I had no idea how to swing a golf club, but I had the ball moving in the correct direction, be it only about 10 yards. Six months in, and I made what could only be described as the best decision yet for me. I've got lessons. A lesson every two weeks gave me a great base to work on, and although still terrible, I actually felt like my golf game was going somewhere. I've always been okay at short game, in fact, it's pretty much a massive strength of my game. However, the longer clubs are always what I found a little more difficult and need some work. So to the drive range I went to grind that out. At this point, a friend that I had picked up the game alongside, had, you know, between us we'd decided that it was probably time to join a club. Unfortunately for me, the rampant golf addiction was hurting the wallet. Five twilight green fees a week isn't as cheap as you might have hoped. So we joined the club to essentially be able to play unlimited amounts of golf. Which brings me to my next point, practice. Now the underpinning of my progression really has been practice. Combined with regularish lessons, it's helped me build a bit of a swing and then polish, uh, polish it with practice. It actually enabled me to get somewhere. A year into my golf progression, I finally obtained my first handicap. 19.6. This shocked me as much as it probably is you looking at this swing, because I didn't think I'd get that as soon as I did. But either way, I now had a number to work on. With all that I've said still working in the background, I decided to play as much golf as physically possible through the next summer to obtain the ability to somehow put a bit of a score together. That's right, I wanted to learn how to score, because believe it or not, having a good golf swing does not always correlate to a good score. There's your swing, course management, short game, putting, and about 500 other considerations that you need in order to score in this unbearable yet incredible game that we all seem to love. Continuing this process of lesson, driving range, course and repeat, as much as I physically could, has got me to the point where I am now, which, although not incredible, I'm fairly happy to say that I'm now a single digit handicapper, just, uh, and have a roadmap set out to get lower and lower, if I ever stop shanking it. So if I have to sum up the last year or so in five points, this is probably what I'd say. One, lessons. There's no point practicing if you don't know what you're practicing. You need the fundamentals to create a somewhat, and I say somewhat, workable golf swing. I learned that the hard way. Two, practice. Get down to the range and work on that ugly swing so that it gets to a point that you feel at least a little bit consistent. Three, play as much golf as you can. Get out there and play. The more course experience you have, the better you will end up scoring. Trust me. Four, and I haven't mentioned this yet, but work on your mental game. You can keep your head and try to stay calm. This might be the hardest thing in the game. Because honestly, as you probably all know if you're watching this video, it's infuriating. But just remember, you're not Roy McIlroy. Relax, it's meant to be hard. And five, finally, enjoy it. Kind of pointless if you don't. We're only doing it for fun, so relax and enjoy the process. At least that's what I'm trying to do. Anyway guys, a bit of a different video and hopefully you have enjoyed it. I'd love to know your version, so let me know down in the comments. How did you get to where you're at? 